Now, when Iowa State takes the field on Saturday against Oklahoma in the Big 12 Championship, there will be plenty of pressure, but with it, there will also be plenty of support. As you'll hear, this game is not just for this team. It's for every Cyclone who wore Cardinal and Gold, both past and present. Saturday, Cyclone fans will be glued to the Big 12 Championship. For these players and these coaches and the fans as well, um, to get this payoff now, and what's been a you know really hard, crazy year. It's just so it's just so cool. It's so much fun to be a part of. Right, Hall touchdown. It's safe to say this is the biggest game in program history. For a school to not even be in the Big Twelve Championship or any type of championship game ever, and then you know now it's it's happening this year. It's it's kind of you know I wouldn't say a perfect year, but it's you know it's it's almost close. A lot of former players have been watching from afar. And this is the stuff we talked about when we were freshmen in the dorms that we wanted to do. Um, and it's, you know, and, and every class that's ever gone through Iowa State, you know, when you're a freshman, you're sitting in the dorms, maybe you're red shirt and you're getting up early for a 530 workout. Like, that's why you do all that stuff. And that's the stuff that we talked about when we were in that position. And, you know, all these years later now to see it actually coming true and actually happening for these players. I mean, it's, it's just so cool to watch. Some could trace the groundwork for this back to the McCarney era. So for those guys to see this happen. It means a lot, man. I mean, shoot, we, we've, we've came a long way. I mean, it shows a lot of growth of where we are now. You know, when we're talked about as the top team in the Big 12 and for us to be able to be able uh, to be able to play in a Big 12 championship game. I mean, come on now. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything more. You can bet they'll be tuned in on Saturday, whether that be at home like Todd Blythe. Said, hey, honey, I think I'm going to go down to Dallas for the game. She said, no, you're not. I said, okay, I'll stay here and watch it on TV. And Jack Whitver, who will watch with his six-year-old son. We're going to be in the house watching it and hope to see a Cyclone victory. Others will be there in person, like Marchie Murdoch, who's just a couple of seasons removed from his playing days. It's pretty much the only thing that's been on my mind. Like, it's kind of crazy. Like, I'm not even playing. Um... But what, what I learned as a, you know, especially as an Iowa State fan and, and a former player, like, it's way less stressful playing. Murdoch isn't the only one that feels that way. More stressful as a fan, <laughs> to be <laughs> honest. As a player, you feel like you're kind of, at least in a little bit of control of what's going on. Um, as a fan, you have absolutely no, no control. So I'm, I'm, you know, living and dying with every snap right now. With every snap, hit, touchdown, nerves will be flowing. Because at the end of the day, this is about the brotherhood of Iowa State football. And for those that have come before these current players, Saturday's game carries a lot of weight. A touchdown! It would mean everything to, to me and Cyclone fans. It's, it's what we've been waiting for our entire lives. Literally haven't won a conference championship forever. To proudly wear our Cardinal and Gold around, you know, around town or around the country, wherever you're living. Um, I think that's what uh, that's the big thing that this this game really provides for the fans. It means a lot. I mean, shoot, you know, I mean, that means all, all the, the blood, sweat and tears that everybody has put into this program and uh, put in the hard work to kind of put us on the national stage.